Hi, this is Brandon Champ from Algoma University, and I'm going to give a quick demonstration, well, maybe not so quick, of how to calculate EVAR, which is an evenness index used in ecology, um, largely to demonstrate or to calculate or, or give an estimation of how evenly distributed uh, resources are between uh, species or taxa. Uh, in a given location. So I've got a collection of plot data. Each column represents plots and each row represents plant species. And uh, the first thing that we have to do to calculate this, and it is a fairly substantial process, is give ourselves some room. Uh, and in fact, we're going to open up three columns here. In the first column, we're going to calculate this value down here, ln, ln of x. So I'm just going to put a reminder at the top. All right. Now I only want to do that uh, for neighboring cells here that uh, are full. Uh, so I always start off with an if statement equals if this cell uh, is empty, then do nothing. Otherwise, lawn of that cell. Close the bracket. We're owed one more bracket here, and then enter. Now, I can just simply copy this down, and you'll see that it, it doesn't do anything if there's no cell necessary. All right, so immediately I can move down. All right, the other thing that I'm going to need to calculate um, is ln, you can see ln of x again, divided by s, which is the species richness. Ln of x divided by s. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to the bottom here and calculate S, or species richness. So I'll just say S, and I can use a simple COUNTIF function to calculate S for all the values in this, this first column. You'll notice that all the values are above zero, so I'm going to make my criteria uh, greater than zero in a COUNTIF. So it counts the number of cells in that list that are greater than zero and it's 15. Okay, so I can refer back to that as necessary. All right, so once again, now I'm going to go back here and calculate uh, ln x divided by s, and uh, and that's, a, you know, a fairly simple process, I can say, um, but I want to do it only for, for cells that ha have something in it. So equals if uh, this is 0, do nothing again, or if it's nothing, do nothing. Otherwise, uh, this, because that's already the ln of s, divided by, and I'll just go back down here to the s value. All right, and bracket, and oh, too many arguments. Let's see what's going on here. Otherwise, uh, I see. That's an equals. If C equals nothing. There, problem solved. All right, now I have to, because I want to copy this down, but I want B43, which is the species richness, to stay static. I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the 43. So that means as I copy it down, it will remain 43. Let's see, it doesn't change. All the other ones change from, to, from C4 to C5, but this stays at B43. Alright, so I'm going to continue to copy that down. Alright, now the next thing I have to do is calculate the sum of that row. Equals sum, so you can use the sum function to do that. All the way up, enter, and now you've got the sum of that row. Now I'm going to name these columns just, um, just for, for uh, uh, simplicity's sake. And you'll see why. So for the next column, I'm going to indicate what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is uh, a minus the sum of b uh, raised to the power of 2 and divided by s. OK, so that's a, a much more busy calculation. But uh, we have pretty much everything that we need. Um, open that up, and, it, and you'll see that this is sort of going on with all of these things. So this is a minus uh, the sum of b, this section here, raised to the power of 2 divided by s. Okay, So um, we're going to 
say if dot equals if again, uh, this cell equals nothing, then do nothing. Otherwise, and I'm going to open a bracket, a minus, now is the sum of b here, so I'm going to go to the bottom, sum of b, back up, close the bracket, raised to the power of 2, and then divided by, and I'm going to go back down to s. All right, close the bracket, and enter. All right, so there we go. Now again, I have uh, two references to a sum at the bottom, D43, and the species richness at the bottom that I want to stay static, so I'm going to put dollar signs in front of both of them. Enter. Doesn't change the number in any way, but it means that when I copy down, it will keep the right formula. And there we go. All right, now once again, I'm going to have to take the sum of all of this, so you can see down at the bottom that it requires that, equals sum, all the way up. So we have the sum of that, and now basically we've got all of this part, and all that we have left is this part here. All right, so the last part of the calculation, and we'll just say evar here, equals one minus two divided by uh, pi, and then you have to open bracket and close a bracket, and then times, and for, oop, times, which is a star in Excel, um, arctangent, which uh, conveniently Microsoft Excel has a formula for, a tan it's called, and then we simply refer to this sum. Close the bracket, and there's our evenness measure. Okay, and that's that's how you calculate evenness uh, in this particular fashion. So evar is only one evenness index, but that's how you calculate it using Excel.